Hey everyone! I am a tree, but not your ordinary tree. I am a special and very, very old one. I'm going to tell you a story of my life. Long, long time ago, before time existed, there were no people or animals or trees. There were no rivers or mountains, no streams or hills. There was nothing to see at all, except for the dark. But God was there. At the beginning of everything, God created the heaven and the earth. And He brought the light in the dark. He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. There came evening, and then morning came again. And so the first day began. The second day, He created a roof above the earth and called it heaven. Then God started to make the seas. Evening and morning came again. The second day. The third day, God said, Let the dry land become visible. And it happened. Between the seas, He made land and let all kinds of trees on it and plants to grow. God also commanded that grass, flowers, seed-bearing crops, and fruit trees that bring forth seeds on the earth, each according to its kind, shrubs and trees had to appear. And they appeared. So life was born. Evening and morning came again. The third day. On the fourth day, he set the brilliant sun, the glittering moon, and the millions of twinkling stars in the sky to separate the day and the night. The sun to warm us, the moon and the stars to light up the night. They must also serve for signs, for fixed times, days and years. And so the world began, evening and morning came again. The fourth day. He makes the fifth day the fish in all colors, swimming in the seas. He also did crawling crabs there, cunning sharks, and giant whales below. And over the land, he let birds fly in the sky. Cheerful butterflies, busy bees filled the air. Evening and morning came again. The fifth day. The sixth day, God made for the land many different animals. Creeping animals and beasts and reptiles in the wild, each according to its kind. He showed them horses and goats run and jump in all shapes and sizes. There were huge elephants and busy beavers, naughty monkeys and slow turtles, swarming worms and jumping squirrels, bands of giraffes and barking dogs, huge dinosaurs. All kinds of animals were passed on that day God made.
Finally, He created man. Used as an example for humans, He Himself. And only then, He was satisfied. He let man dwell on the earth. The first man and woman, as husband and wife, Adam and Eve, to take care of all of His creations. Everything was good and satisfied. It takes six days to create this new world. After all his hard work, he rested on the seventh day.